Hello everybody, I hope my voice is coming in good and clear. Uh, just to let you know, we will be live about maybe 20 minutes from now. And as you see in the left corner, we have a timer. Uh, just to check that timer up. And you will be able to find out when we will start. Just to let uh, some time for people to join us. And uh, please invite your friends. And soon we will have a good time. All right. And uh, we will have no audio until we start. So don't complain and say, where is the music? I forgot playing music for a long time. You know, I used to play music like 5,000 years ago. But then I said to myself, I need to change my career, you know. And then I start working as a prophet part time, you know. Then I don't like it. Too much headache. So I switched different business. So I invite your friends. We will be live soon, about 20 minutes from now. And uh, don't complain about the audio. We will be mute. As you see, that we have a sign for those who like to read. And we have a timer in the corner is to indicate to you how soon we will start. Invite your friends, please. Thank you. See you soon.
All right, look like we are on time, are we? Am I late? Not yet. <laughs> All right, I will st uh, stop the timer. I will start earlier. Uh, as you see, this is like just, uh, you know, to have a conversation with you guys. Um, if you notice, we are not here. First place of Christ, all of you. Uh, we are not here for a few days in this account. And I notice how easy people, they are lost. I mean, they don't know how to find me, uh, which is very weird. Uh, because as you see in the screen, we have Patreon link. And this is the easiest way always to get update where I'm going to go live. So I did not really understand why people, they are unable to find me. I mean, what this link there, uh, this is not only for donation, you know, you can go there and you do not need to donate. You know, you go to patreon.com slash Christian friends and then click at the last post I made and then you will find out where is my channel will be. Those channels are temporarily, you know, because, you know, the uh, YouTube is taking side of Muslims always. And we might lose any of those channels immediately. Like maybe now, while I'm talking to you, it happened before that I'm talking that's right away and they you know, shut us down. So uh, please take a note. I mean, we have this link there, Patreon, for a reason. Uh, I will create another account like a Rumble so we can update you and you can subscribe. Actually, I, I think I have already an account in this, uh, in this company. Uh, it's just a way to communicate with you and you don't feel like where he is now, where we can find him. Uh, we will be uh, tomorrow in the other account, which is uh, Arabian Prophet. Uh, I have the link down in the info. You can click on it and save that. I made that not coming broadcast not listed yet because I don't want people to can be confused where to join here or there. If you have two live, two different pages, you know, so tomorrow we will be in the Arabian Prophet. Uh, and the link is in the info. Be sure you subscribe. So you can join us. All right. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, people, they don't, uh, people are lazy. Like, you know, we have, a, we have a big sign in the screen says we have no sound. And people, they say, why there's no sound? You know, um, nobody want to read. Uh, we became, uh, we depend in somebody to tell us what to do, you know. I mean, we have a sign, it says, we have no sound, we will start soon. Obviously, that's me, we did not start yet. And it says there, we have no audio. And yet people complaining, why there's no audio? Nobody will read. Uh, so, as you see, this link is ex exists there for a reason. We have it almost in every single, uh, you know, uh, video. The link of Patreon, the one you see in the screen. This is not there for uh, decoration. You know, this is exists for a reason. So anytime my channel is gone, it doesn't matter if we have a hundred thousand or two hundred thousand. They can take it down. I mean, this is a company they own, they control, and we know that those atheists they always side with uh, Mohammedans. It doesn't matter what you do. Imagine the video which it says why there's no love in Islam, that video, they accuse me of hate speech. <laughs> Can you believe it? <laughs> I mean, I'm asking in the video why there is no love, no music, no etc. in Islam, and the, and the same video, <laughs> violation of hate speech. <laughs> I mean, it is really hilarious, and it's really stupid. Uh, and, uh, you know, if somebody want to speak to somebody, please be careful. Like here, we, we have a Kufar boy. He says, Palestine is Allah. Allah is not God, you donkey. Well, you know, take it easy. I mean, if you want to tell him, the guy is not being rude to you. He is not insulting you. So why tell him he's false God? And why you are calling him donkey? Maybe he's not. Maybe he is. Did you check him? You did not talk to him yet. Be careful. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, but it doesn't matter for us, you see, I, I'm, I'm, uh, I accept that this is the conditions, and who cares, we will create, and I have a thousand uh, YouTube channels, <clears throat> they close one, I start going live in the second one, who cares, you know, what a big deal, and people will find me, I mean, people, they don't come 
uh, here because uh, uh, we have, uh, I mean, wherever I go, it doesn't matter really. I mean, this channel or different channel, who care? You know, as soon as people they notice where I am, they will follow. And there is people who they are, let us say, more smart than others. Right away, they use their brain, say, okay, well, you know, his channel is gone. Let us go to Patreon. You know, uh, he have TikTok now. Uh, soon I will start, uh, you know, posting videos in Rumble. So you can always go and get the update where I am. And then you just follow, subscribe to the channel. Who care? You know, uh, we don't care really about what they do. We care about what we do. Right? So I hope next time, if we lose a channel, people will not be confused about where to go. You are smarter than this. You know? And we have a link for you in the screen always. And there is always they can people they can update you. Like, you know, you can go maybe to uh, Omad, Sheikh Omad, he can tell you we're a Christian prince now, you know. Uh, my my admins they will tell you. Um Yeah, well, what we can do, I mean, the, this is this is their uh, time. You see, we have the atheist because of their uh, hate to Christianity. They side with anyone is anti-Christianity. As simple as that. <clears throat> Did you see any any Muhammadan? He uh, he don't have advertising in his videos. Did you see anyone? Did you see any one of them? They strip him from able to collect donation. Only us. Only those who speak against Islam, they have no privilege. They don't allow us even to continue. Uh, they don't allow us to collect donation. Uh, they don't allow us to have, uh, to make any income, you know. And uh, they are waiting for us to make any, any reason for them to make, to take you down, as simple as that, you know. But it's okay. That is even making it better for me. It's more challenging. It's more fun. Uh, <clears throat> You see, actually, I am the kind. I am. I do less work when I am relaxed, and I do more work when I am challenged. Like if you threat me, you have no idea what you are dealing with. If you are nice to me, I will. You know, I will act normally. So I'm not the kind who like uh, 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 run away because of uh, they put stress on you. I, I don't care. You know you. You take a channel, you take 10, you take 5, who cares? I'll create one, take me 5 minutes. Go live. Very easy. Uh, it's always depend in, uh, in, uh, in who you are, you know. Uh, they can be successful. If you are the kind who give up easy and, you know, for me, uh, who care? It's just a stupid YouTube. <laughs> who care? <laughs> Honestly, what a big deal, you know? Actually, you know, sometimes I say to myself, well, maybe it's a good, it's good to be banned for some time so I can work in my books and finish them, you know, better than uh, spending too much time with a stupid YouTube, right? Uh, but I know what we do is very important on YouTube. But I think uh, books is more important. So there is a time, like I think about it, you know, my books is taking forever because I'm not having enough time. Like after you finish from YouTube, you know, like writing need, uh, it's just not just time, you know, you need to be in the mood of writing. It's not just writing, you know. And, uh, you know, for me, talking is a lot easier than writing because my English skills is not really that good. So I have, uh, 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 writing is, is not easy, talking is a lot easier. And even when we write, we have to ask some friends to help us and do fix the grammar and spelling mistakes, etc. you know, uh, etc. So like writing is not really that, that easy, you know, but still, uh, thank God, uh, you know, we have people who help, and our books is published in many languages now. I mean, I'm really uh, amazed about how many languages now we have. Like one day writing a book, it was an idea, and it was a challenge by Muslims, not by me. A Muslim Sheikh, he says to me, as long as you claim that you are knowledgeable, how come we never heard of a book of yours? As long as you are knowledgeable, where is your books? 
So I said to myself, well, hey, hey. Brother and Sitar, you got a point, Sitar. So we are going to write a book for you. And I start writing books. <laughs> uh, secretary who do speak good English. Yeah, you know that the Muslim, they think I have secretaries. I have people who answer my phone. They think I have a building center, you know. They don't know that this is one guy, he do everything. Honestly, they think I have, if you see how they talk about me, they think I have an army of people who, you know, like, uh, yeah, here. Don't become a slave of your editor. What does that mean? My editor, the one who do editing, is just to fix the grammar. Wesley, what does have to do with slavery? That's deep. <laughs> Somebody will correct my English. What that have to do with slave of editor? <laughs> anyway, uh, <clears throat> uh, so take a note, please. Like uh, we will be live tomorrow, but not in this account. Take a note. Not in this account. We will be live tomorrow in the Arabian Prophet. And if you did not subscribe there, subscribe and always. If you are lost and you do not know where to find me, let us say this channel disappear. The Arabian Prophet disappear. I have many channels, as you know, you know. Uh, what you will do, you go to Patreon. As you see, the link is in the front of you on the screen. There, uh, uh, for sure, I will have a post saying to you, well, we are now in the French channel. Very simple. Soon I will post an account for Ramble videos so in case in the emergency i pause there and I say hey guys we are there and this is how you find me and then your, your, your duty is to help to spread the news so those who do not know how to find me they will be able to know right yeah they think the jews are paying me you know yeah i wish that's really good you know <clears throat> But as you know, for me, I don't uh, side with anyone. I say the truth. You know, when a rabbi, he says something stupid, we made him shish kebab, right? We don't care. When, when somebody, he is a Catholic or a Protestant priest, and he says something stupid, we make him shish kebab too. So we, are, we side with the truth, not with the individual, not with the group. We don't care who you are, what church you go to. You say something stupid, we give you the degree. That's a stupid. Never side with the, with someone. Side with right and wrong. You know, if it's wrong, it's you're against it. If you're, it's right, you are with it. Doesn't matter who said that. <clears throat> uh, you see, we just uh, saw here a comment, just to show you. I am back. That you are. I'm glad you are back in the main channel. Well, there's no main channel. Actually, this channel is not main channel. Who said that this channel is my main channel, my friend? Who told you? And what main channel mean? I don't have really any main channel. Those are just a silly YouTube account. It's not a building. It's not a house. It is not something important. It's just a place, an address, a virtual address in the internet. So my friend, please remember, all those accounts, they can disappear any minute any minute youtube as a company they are against us i never actually had the total of 100,000 subscribers each time before i reach usually 80 100 before i reach the 100 i will lose channel for sure like i saw some people complain like david wood he complained that they have a strike, but David Wood, he have more than 1,200 videos, I think, in his channel. I can't even keep a video. I mean, nobody make videos as I do. And nobody stay for many hours as I do. But I don't have a video in my channel because if I have them, my channel will be gone a long time ago. So when David Wood, he complained, he have his channel for more than 10, 12 years, I think. And you have more than a thousand something videos, you are you are lucky. They are not really, they are being nice to you. 
And you know, people, they usually, they subscribe to you when they see your videos. They go to a channel, they say, David, there's no videos. Who, what, what this channel is, you know? Unless they know you. So when you, when you see 100,000 subscribers in a channel of mine, uh, that is really uh, very good. Because there's no videos. Why are people subscribing? So those who subscribe, just because they knew that this is a Christian Prince channel, Otherwise, they are not. There's nothing there. I mean, look at this channel. It's empty. Totally empty. There's nothing. I mean, they have uh, two videos about my book. And what is making me really upset that people they think that this is a, my this is mean channel and that is not mean channel. What? Who care? What this? What mean channel mean? It's just a stupid YouTube address. Are you following the channel or you are following Christian Prince? I know, I know, but this is what make me always, you know, like we went to that channel and then there is nobody there. Nobody. 200, 300, 400. You know, like what happened? We used to go in that channel six months ago every day. We have, um, I think, more than 90,000 in that channel. So somehow, you know, people, they follow like if you change location, they do not know you. <laughs> like who are you? <laughs> uh, yeah, and by the way, like uh, I noticed in the previous uh, broadcast, there was a guy, he came in the chat and he started saying, I think uh, David Wood, he do better teaching than Christian Prince. I want you to be careful with those people. They're, they can be Muslims trying to divide us and try to make us, you know, like fight each other. For me, I wish all of you, you can do better than me right now, not tomorrow. And, uh, for, you know, for this person, because I saw this, uh, I saw those comments after I finished the chat, I wasn't looking. Uh, if I was there, I would say to him, well, I'm so happy that he is doing better than me. He is my brother in Christ, and we love him. You see, when we, uh, when we speak in, uh, let us say, uh, I criticize some work, but doesn't mean, you know, I, we are against the person. Absolutely not. We are a family. We are brothers and sisters. And if I do wrong, you can say to me, but doesn't mean you hate me. So don't let those people divide you. Right? Like I am, I get upset from David Wood the way he debate. I think he is not good in debating. But why people think I'm speaking against him? I'm not. I don't like the way he debate. It's very simple, because he is so soft with them, he did not learn yet that this is a religion of uh, mockery. They don't debate you, they, they make a mockery of you. And if you give them a chance, the debate will be turned into a mockery, and there's no answers, and you will look, look, you will look funny. And this is what they tried to do with him, and they did actually when they debate uh, Mimi Hijab. So the Muslims, they were laughing. In fact, Mimi Hijab was lying nonstop. Because this is how people, those people, they understand. They understand, they understand winning a debate is making more curry of you. And if you do not know how to deal with them, you will be, you will turn to be a, their joke. Even you are a decent man, smart person, saying the truth. Etc. You know, it's like dealing with a bunch of kids jumping like monkeys around you. How you can deal with those people? Uh, so when we advise some Christians about uh, like changing the way they do things, we are not saying they are bad. We are saying. My advice to you, this is wrong. If you want to listen to me, listen. You don't want to listen, it's up to you. Did you ask yourself why Muslims don't line up here to debate me? Why all of them they want to go and to debate with David Wood? Because there they can find success. Here, they will find nothing but a trap. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yeah. So reminder again, as you see, we have a, we have a, a message in the top in the blue. When you enter the chat, it says always go to Patreon. 
and I'm not asking you to go to Patreon to make a donation, even though we uh, we appreciate those who do so. But this is my work is for free. Patreon is open. I never locked my videos. You can ask anyone. They are open even if you don't have a username. Even if you don't have a username, you can see my videos. You know, uh, because I make it public, which means shouldn't be need a username to click it. I don't know, but. Uh, for me, I made them all public, all my videos. Uh, and sometimes, because we don't want them to flag our videos, we make the video enlisted, enlisted, but still for everybody. Which means, if you are on Patreon, uh, and you don't donate, you are just you have a username, you can watch the video. I never, never close my videos. Because I know, like many people on Patreon, they close the video, you have to donate, and there's like a stages, and blah, blah, blah. I'm not doing business, and I don't want people to watch my videos because they made donation. Actually, I'm very harsh with those who make donation to me. If you see the messages, when somebody emailed me, I said to him, please save your message, your question, when I am live. The guy is making donation, but I don't treat him differently. Uh, so, you know, uh, Anytime you like, you wonder where I you can find me. Go to the Patreon. The link in the front of you. Remember that. Do you remember Ustaz Abdul Samad? He was rejecting, rejected, uh, rejecting. Okay, from inter, into in Singapore. Sorry. Yeah, but I mean, you know. Uh, okay. Well. You see, those things really doesn't make any difference. So, like you did not let him enter a country. Okay, this is a smart country. But this guy is worshipped in uh, in his country. And uh, he have his influence there. So he can influence people, in Indone Indonesian people, in Singapore without going there. Who need, who need to go to a country these days to have influence? This is like a you know, naive thing. It's not really. But I understand, you know. Uh, like, I, can go, I cannot go to Saudi Arabia. But I am, I go to Saudi Arabia every day. <laughs> so, you know, we have to be smart and we don't need to be excited about the news. Like, do you know, they, uh, you know, who care? What a big deal. They did not allow him to come, but the Quran is recited in the Quran. It says, fight those who don't accept Islam. So who care? They blocked the guy, but they did not block the book. You know what I mean? What difference is going to make? Nothing. It's just a silly behavior for, from some government. Uh, actually, in case you do not know, when you, uh, when you do those actions, you promote the guy. Because those who they are like, uh, uh, let's say, the, the one is so much into Islam, when you see when when they see that you did that to their guy, they think he is the he's, he's good. It's like a sign. It's a flag. You are saying to them, "Well, this is the one you can trust." Look, they are blocking him. So without knowing, they are promoting the person, which is a very uh, you know and a smart behavior. Let him come. Watch him. What he will say. If he says something wrong, arrest him. That is a smart behavior. <laughs> Not forbid him from coming. Yeah, well, you know, like most of most of, most of countries, they have no idea really how to deal with Islam and uh, and uh, some organization. Uh, we we will wait for to see what this Twitter will end. If if a Twitter will go back to the, I mean, uh, like now this uh, uh, Musk, he will he will own it as they, we hear the news. But until now, it's not for sure. So if this guy, he own it, and he give a freedom again, I will open an account in Twitter. And then you can always, you know, get the, my news from a Twitter. I close my Twitter. I have, I think, I don't know, 20,000, 30,000, something like this. I close all my account, all those social media, because I cannot post anything. I mean, what the point? You see, uh, race is saying, race car is saying, uh, PCP is back. I never went. I was online on every day. It's you who did not come here. You, because you're stuck with this account, you do not know that I am live. 
See you guys what's happening? Look, our friend here, he said, CP is back, but I wasn't, I was online every day. Every day. Why people do not notice that we have a link in the screen? It says patreon.com slash Christian Prince. Why people do not know that YouTube, they can take my privilege to go online anytime. Why we don't ask ourselves, do you think it's normal that CP is not coming every day as usual? What happened? Obviously, something happened. So, if you really care, you have address in the screen, patreon.com. You go there, you will find where I am. The last video I posted is going to tell you where I'm going to go live. This is just a virtual uh, address of YouTube. Who care? I did not go anywhere. Actually, in the last few days, I was going more live on air than other days. Like before, we say, okay, we will wait until we have 20,000 to go live. You will notice even sometime in the same day I go twice. And this is what I say to Muslims, you challenge me, you will, you will find more work from my side. You want to fight me? You want to stop me? You will have a harder time. Uh, yeah, in Patreon, when I post, like uh, like now, I post it, I will go, anything I post, Patreon will send you an, uh, uh, an email immediately, your email. You click at the video, if, without even going Patreon, you're not even to check. Just sign once in Patreon, and don't, don't, don't make donation. Don't, don't, don't make donation. Don't be scared, because I know some people, the second you say money, they, um, you know, say bye bye. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like the person who go to the church and he's, you know, he try to leave before they start collecting donation because he don't want to donate. Why well, you want to leave? Stay. If you don't have money, don't donate. Well, it's not an embarrassment. Not everybody have money. If you are poor, stay. So what? The church is, is yours, my friend. Uh. <clears throat> Yeah, there's, uh, when we say two main channels, this is true and not a true, because we can change those channels anytime. So I have the Arabian Prophet and Christian Prince. Those are like now because they grow more than others, but it doesn't matter. And the link again for my podcast tomorrow, tomorrow I will not be in this channel. I will be in the Arabian Prophet. And the link, the link for the podcast tomorrow is down in the info. You click in it and you can join. There is a relationship between the Greek seven heavens and seven Hindus heaven and seven heaven found in the Quran. Thank you. Well, you know, to answer such a question, you have to be a person who studied very well all the religions and the cultures, and then you can come with the conclusion, you know. But uh, we need to remember like number seven is exist even in the Bible. Uh, it is uh, uh, the, the number of perfection. You know the perfection like god he created you know the earth and the heaven and then he uh, rest in the mean of he finished you know in the seven in the seven day so the word seven is exists in christianity and judaism to present the perfect uh, number uh, the same as number three uh, the same same as number 12 so there's there's certain numbers they have a religious, uh, let us say, background and meaning. But it's possible that somebody is stealing from somebody. Possible. Uh, but you have to have extra knowledge in order to connect the dots together. Yeah, like now there is four known channels, out of four Christ, a quality of life, uh, Arabian prophet, Christian prince. Those are like, you know, established. And actually, Arab for Christ, it's made for uh, uh, teaching Arabic. So if you like to learn Arabic, you can always go there. And in case of emergency, let us say all my channel is gone. That one, they don't have excuse to take it down. Um, I can go there and post a, a video that says, guys, this is my new channel. 
Um, yeah, we don't have seven heavens. The Quran doesn't say and only seven heaven. The Quran says there is seven heaven and seven earth. Seven heaven and seven earth. And that is coming from the Greek for sure. Like, you know, there is the Greek, they have some names like Venus, etc. Um, so this is where the seven earth is coming from. Uh, uh, it says here as an example, chapter 65, verse number 12. Uh, Allah, he created seven heaven and seven earth, similar number. You see it? Everything Muhammad he have is copied from somebody else. Anything, anything. Just, just think anything you can imagine. Even the word Allah, even, even his name Muhammad. How they can take down a channel? Well, if you own a company, it take you one click to delete any channel you want. Those who work for you too, any one of them now, he can use any excuse to take down your channel. What do you mean how they can? They own the channel. They own the, they own the company. They own the, the program. You don't like it, don't come here. That's what they will say to you. And YouTube and Facebook and Twitter, they are more powerful even than the government. You cannot even sue them. Do you know that? Like, don't you know that they, they, they block the account of Trump? Like, so who is more powerful, Trump or me? Trump, he was a president. He is not, he was not a guy who worked in the post office. He is a president and they blocked his account. So what are you expecting? And the funny is, that YouTube and Twitter and uh, Facebook, they've been given this power by the government so they can be protected to have a free speech. And then those who they are protected to have a free speech, they don't allow us to have free speech. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so this is, how, this is how silly the system is. So they gave them this power so they can protect free, freedom of speech. And then the one who will be given the power to protect it, protect you from to have the freedom, they you know try to subjugate you and try to put you down. But for us, they can do as much as they want, but still we will we will be back. You know, it doesn't matter. Take a channel down, and we'll open channel in five minutes, and then take it down. We open a second one. Who cares? The important is that we are here to stay, and they will go. And actually, I can predict in the future that all those companies in the future, they will be dead. YouTube, Facebook, that's why I, like I, I feel sorry for this guy, Musk, for investing $40 billion in stupid website, because it's, it's nothing. He, he don't own anything. It's just an, it's a virtual name. It's not anything physical. Uh, and even the buildings they have, they don't, maybe, it's not even maybe worth a few million dollars. Uh, because all those, they can lose their reputation so fast and they can be destroyed. As an example, if now hackers, they hack Twitter and they put all the info information in online, Twitter will die and their website will grow. People go there. If somebody come with a new thing like TikTok now, uh, the reason the American and even Trump, he, he, he was trying to block TikTok uh, from USA, because they want to force the company, the Chinese company, to sell it. The American, they were not happy to see there's a competition. There's a new compete company. It's not controlled by them. Uh, so those businesses, they will die, all of them. The same as they are born and they grow so fast, they will die so fast. That's why I always I say to people, don't ever invest your money in such companies. Anything is virtual, anything is virtual, is a stupid investment, even if you are making money. 
even if you are making like now those uh, bitcoins and etc they can disappear overnight you can lose all your income in one day uh, <clears throat> anyway Palestine, he is saying that Abraham, he built the Kaaba. Well, I will help Palestine. He sounds like a nice person. Uh, 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 Mr. Palestine, let me, let me show you from the Quran that Abraham never was there. From the Quran. And now what you will say? You will say, I'm not telling the truth. This is your Quran saying that Abraham never was in the Kaaba. Chapter 43, verse number 23. There's no prophet came to Mecca before Muhammad. Never. No scriptures, no prophet, nothing. Actually, not this one. Hold on. I, I opened the wrong one. Uh, yeah, this one here. Chapter 34, not 43, 34, 44. And we have not given them scriptures which they could study or nor send them before you, Muhammad, a warner. To who? To Mecca. It's in the front of your eyes. You want to be, uh, you want to be stubborn? You can be stubborn. It's your business. But the verse is so clear. We never, uh, the Quran confirmed that Abraham have a scriptures. It says Suhuf Ibrahim. Suhuf Ibrahim. Ibrahim, he have book the same as Moses. The Quran confirmed that. Chapter 79, verse number uh, 78, verse number 19. The last verse in the chapter. The books of Abraham and Moses. Okay, so now it's confirmed that Abraham have a books and Moses have books. Okay, wonderful. So now how we will fix this, that nobody came to Mecca and no one was a warner and nobody gave them scriptures. This is a clear proof that all the story about Abraham going to the Kaaba and, his, and Ishmael is a joke, is a lie. Right? Again, a reminder for new people who enter. Do you, do you see the message you see in blue? Next time, if we don't come online for some reason, maybe because YouTube ban us, maybe because YouTube cancel the channel, uh, you go to Patreon. The link is in the screen. As you see, you do not need to make a donation. Click at the last video I posted and you will know where I'm going live. Did we take a note? Uh, what about the second Kaaba was located in Yemen? Well, that was not Kaaba. No. You see, there was 26 Kaaba in the Arabian Peninsula. According to Muslims. 26 Kaaba. All of them, they are counterfeit of the temple of al Makkah. That's why actually Mecca, Makkah, you know, the K in the language of Yemen it come as letter Qa. Mecca, the same, you know? If I search right now, let me do that. <clears throat> let us do a little search. Little search in Google, you will find that Al Makkah, Al Makkah, 
which is the same name as Mecca. And obviously, the name Mecca itself is coming from al Makkah, you know. Uh, this is why even the Quran says sometimes says Bakka. Is it Bakka or Makkah? Because simply the language, uh, uh, in some, the letter uh, B switched to M, some, the letter M stay as it is. So al Makkah is the moon god. Uh, temple in the beginning for a long time uh, a historian they thought this is the sun god but then they discover lately that this is the moon god temple and this is why the muslims they have in the corner of uh, of the kaaba uh, they have something is called the yemeni corner the reason they have the yemeni corner because simply those rocks are being stolen from here so the, the Kaaba is a counterfeit uh, temple, small version of it. This was a huge one. And instead of going all the way to do Hajj, all the way to Yemen, you go to Mecca. It's a local, local worship store. All right. I hope I answered you. So guys, did you take a note? Is the link in the info working? Is the link in the info down working? Tomorrow we will be in the Arabian Prophet. For, from now on, we will be for some time, maybe a few months, we will see. We will be in the Arabian Prophet account doing live broadcast. Please take a note, subscribe, and always, 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 the easiest way to find where I am, you go to patreon.com slash christianprince. Click at the last video posted there. The last live broadcast I did, and you will find me. Because those accounts, those channels, they can be deleted anytime. It's very disappointing that people do not know how to find me. When we have a link for you in every video, it says patreon.com slash Christian Prince. Uh, Since uh, various translation or of the Bible do not are not reliable, well, I think most of them they are. But remember, translation is a translation, which means it's based on the ability and the skills of the translator in both languages. So always translation will not be perfect in any language, any book. Uh, like for me, I, I like the translation of uh, the Bashita translation, the Aramaic. Uh, obviously, they did a lot of work in it. And they connect the dots of the language with the, with, with the history to come with the, uh, uh, the better translation. But if you want to get the perfect meaning, you better speak the language then. Go and learn it. If you are a person who seeks really true knowledge, always know when the language is the best. Uh, uh, Richard Arun, if you use bad language, we have to block you. Anyone will use a bad language in the chat, we are going to block you. Period. We don't want street language here. And don't think if you are insulting Muhammad by using bad language, you are better. But obviously, you are bad like him. If you cannot wash your mouth and keep it clean, well, so how you are better than Muhammad? Well, this is in IV. Uh, I don't uh, accept it as a translation. And even though they say it like they, they, in the beginning, they have some wrong uh, missing verses and then they fix, they fix them. But I think it's full of mistakes and errors. As I said, it's dependent on the, on the one who is... Uh, Sometimes it, it might be even somebody would deceive you. You never know. How you know? I mean, I, I can now uh, trans make translation and print it. Yeah. It's about how dignity, how honest. And the Christian should not accept any translation. Uh, obviously, it's fraud. See, Jehovah's Witnesses, they even, most of the time, they did not even change a word. They changed a the letter. And that will change the meaning. 
like instead of uh, the, the word was God, the word was a God. Just a letter, you know? Uh, so if a translator, he is an evil person, he can fool you. Uh, for me, I use this translation. Until now, I did not notice any uh, error in their translation. You know, this one. It's called Peshitta Holy. Peshitta is from the Aramaic, you know, Aramaic word. Holy Bible translation. How I can ask question without disturbing him? You can ask me a question here, my friend. Mr. Al-Mata Moore. And as uh, somebody advise you, just uh, like this, see how my name sometimes ap appear in uh, orange? I like orange. Uh, so you can add my name in such a way, will appear in the chat like that, and then I will know that you're speaking to me. Can you speak and read Aramaic? No, I know little, but I, I cannot claim that I speak and I know. You know, always in life, we try to learn. And, uh, you know, I did not get the, the luck and the opportunity to learn Aramaic. Can admin to tell me which website to open in the Bible? I'm using this one for now. The Bible Hub. And this is a translation I'm using. Let me post a link for you. The Aramaic in plain English. What did Khadija see in Muhammad? Why not? She is an old woman, way older. She have a previous uh, many husbands before, and she had many kids. So, and he was young. Why not? Uh, you see, in the Middle East, Middle East always uh, men. They don't marry older women. They don't. And if you have kids, even if you are younger you will have really hard time and difficulty to find somebody to marry. But Khadija, because she is rich. She is rich. And this guy is poor. And obviously he is kissing his shoes to make her like him. He have a plan. And that's why she, you know, can you tell me who is Lord? I don't know what do you mean. Your name is Adonai Yeshua. Read your name, my friend. <laughs> that is a weird. Uh, did uh, this gentleman who was asking how to ask him a question, did he post a question? Let me go back. You know, like uh, knowing knowing the language for sure is the best. But what you do in case you do not know it, very easy. As an example, I can now open the book, the, uh, any book, a Hebrew book, and all of them they are uh, they come, you know, like English and Hebrew, let's say. And uh, there's many websites they give you each word meaning, and if you don't believe them, you can copy and search. So if you're hard. A uh, working person who likes to study and learn and to check, you can do it even if you don't speak the language. Uh, as an example, when when the Jews they say, you remember the rabbi who said that when the Bible Old Testament speak about Mary, and it doesn't say the word virgin, it says she is young. Do you remember? This is what they say. They say the meaning it's not a virgin, it's young. How you get them busted? He's a Jew, he speaks Hebrew, you don't speak Hebrew. So he have, he's more powerful than you when it's come to the language. People would, would, would believe him more. 
you can go easy, right? Uh, first of all, like the logic, not only the dictionary, the dictionary get them busted, but secondly, the logic. If the young girl, she gave a birth, well, there's millions of young girls give birth every day. So where is the sign? This is a unique sign. There's no miracle here. There is, you go to many places, you know, young girl giving birth. So if a young girl give birth, there's no miracle there. And if she is so young, well, she is a virgin anyway. <laughs> uh, why no quality of life video? Because there is more important things. You know, the game of uh, you do not know, uh, as an example, Arabic. You debate a Muslim right away, he says to you, you do not know Arabic. And then he himself, you do not know Arabic. And if he know Arabic, he try to make mockery of you. And then if you ask him, well, okay, I do not know Arabic. Uh, can we accept your Muslim translation? They say no. See the hypocrisy? You think... Uh, then is moral to destroy the Kaaba? I know it's possible, but I want to know if it is moral for you. Well, the Kaaba is just a, a, a you know a building, and I think it's not try right to destroy it because it's a historical building, right? Any historical building, I am against destroying it, even if it was a grave of a of a Satan. I think it's a stupid actually. To destroy any historical building, no matter what kind of worship they used to worship, uh, because we are smarter than this. I mean, I understand in the old days, in order to forbid this is from spreading, but this is, I mean, now we are smarter, you know, we are more civil. So, uh, Pharaoh, he used to own slaves. Should we destroy the, the statues of Pharaohs? This is what the American they are doing in USA. Stupid people, you know. This is what the stupid liberals do. They go after a monument and they destroy them. But this is this is this is donkey behavior, because if you are treaty, you want to do that. Then we have to destroy all the kings in the world, all of them, the own slaves. We have to go to Egypt now and wage war and destroy the oh, every single pharaoh. Nobody owns slave as they do. But people are stupid, silly. If you want to find a fight against a cult, it's not by destroying a building, but by destroying the cult, the idea. Because you destroy the building, they build it again, who care? As long as there's believers, you destroy nothing. It's like the one who burned the Quran. I mean, what you, what exactly you did? I mean, what the heck? Why, why, you know, seeking attention. Some, they are attention seekers. They, I, for me, I don't destroy the Quran by burning it. I destroy the Quran by reading it. Why? Uh, why the Mohammedan ins uh, insist uh, the converter uh, is Muhammad? Well, the question is why Muhammad did not say he's a converter? <laughs> I mean, is it hard for Muhammad to say I am the converter? He never said so. So this is you know this is just this is just a, you know kids argument. Desperate people who try to make you believe in Muhammad. We could not prove to them that Muhammad is a prophet from our book. Let us see if we can use their book to make them believe. You know what I mean? Again, uh, please remember that we are going to be live for some time in the other account, which is the Arabian Prophet. The link is down below in the info. Click at the link. I don't know if the admin can post it for you. From the info, click at the link and you will see a coming video. It's not listed yet. I made it unlisted so people come here. We don't want to have two, two live, two places. So click at that link, subscribe if you did not yet. Remember always, if you lose me in YouTube, always you can go to patreon.com slash Christian Prince. Patreon is not only for donation. You do not need to make a donation. This is the easiest way to find me, where I am going to go live. Remember, those accounts in YouTube, they are virtual accounts. They are not real. We can lose them anytime. How big the number doesn't make any, any difference. For YouTube, it's nothing. You have a, 
100,000, you have a million, it takes them one click to delete the whole channel. So next time, if you ever lose uh, the ability to find me, simply you go to Patreon. And soon we will update your Rumble account too, so you can receive update. So what we will do from now on, if we do lose a channel, you go to Patreon. Click at the last video I posted, and this is where you will know. Because I might you know, create a new channel. Now, they delete my channel. I'm talking now, they can delete it. Who can stop them? Nobody. They own the company. The one who uh, delete account of Trump, he can delete my account. I mean, which, one, which one is more powerful? A president of USA in the White House or a guy in a small, tiny room? I made this code, but I don't like it. It sounds like a bathroom, you know, like uh, everybody's talking. You know? I made a discord, but I don't like the... Save your question to me if it's about Islam. If it's about the Bible, try to go. You know, there's many channels they are. You know, here I try to do what nobody can do. There is many people they can teach you about the Bible, but there's only few they can teach you about Islam. So take opportunity of me existing with you so you can learn how to answer Muhammadans. Are you going to follow David Wood? step to delete uh, YouTube channel and move to other platform I don't know what uh, David Wood he did I think he's still on YouTube right yeah no I'm not going anywhere YouTube until now is the most perfect place to expose Islam so we will stay here until there is something because the others they are not really too much uh, uh, easy uh, friendly and popular you know so YouTube uh, just open your channel. What a big deal! I mean, are you following? Are you following a channel, or you are following the person who is teaching the channel? If people are following channel, we'll stay with the channel. And this is what happened actually. Now, we did not go on live for uh, in this channel for like uh, a week, and people disappear. That's it. And they are complaining where to find you, CP. Where we can't find CP. I mean, you have you have an address in the front of you on the screen. Every video. Patreon.com slash Christian Prince. Why you did not go? I am live every day, but in a different place. Don't you know that YouTube can take me from the take the privilege of going live anytime? How many times even they stop me while I'm talking live? Not only like later. <laughs> I mean, sometimes like it takes time for them to uh, you know take your video, etc. No, I was live. It happened many times. So if you care to 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 for the person who is talking, well then you go and see where he is talking. You don't stuck with the channel. This is just a virtual address. It's nothing. Uh, he said he will delete his channel. If I am him, I will not do that. Why you are doing that? At least let them delete it for you. And you know. I don't find a reason for that. For me, if they delete a hundred thousand channel, I will come back. As long as YouTube is is the best between them for now, I will be back. I promise you. And what he whatever he went doing, this is his business. No, actually, they did not ban his channel many times. He's lucky. You see, David Wood, he have more than a thousand videos. They go back all the way to ten years behind. I can't even have a video on my channel. Look, look at this channel, how many videos I have? Nothing. So, compared to me, David Wood is really treated so nice. If I have a YouTube channel for 10 years, I will have 10 million subscribers by now. Because, you know, when you pass the, the, the first period, when you, like, you get to 100,000, then the uh, uh, the increase of subscription goes so fast. The beginning is a slow one. You know what I mean? So you pass the first 100,000, and then suddenly you go so fast, like you jump to 200, 300, 400. You continue. For me, 
if I have my channel since 10 years ago, I will have millions. But as you see, we cannot even keep a video. Yeah, if you subscribe to Patreon without donating, don't, forget, don't worry about donating to me, don't donate. Don't donate. Now for sure we appreciate those who support us, right? But even if you don't donate, you subscribe to Patreon, just make a username. Patreon immediately, when I post something in Patreon, they will send you an email. You don't even need to go there again. Don't go to Patreon anymore. Just sign one time. And then each time I go live, you will receive email from Patreon that Christian Prince, he just posted this. You click at the link and he will be there. Uh, and this is why, you know, for us, we are fighting the evil of, uh, of uh, those who try to take us down by saying, download my videos. Why I keep saying, download my videos? Because this is the whole point, is taking my videos down, right? But when there's a thousand people, they download the video, and then other thousand, they download them, and then other thousand download, the video is all over. Good luck. Uh, do we have any question? Mm -hmm. Actually, if you look at my videos posted by others, <coughs> in the other day I saw a video, uh, uh, it's almost a million view. Can I keep that the same video, my video? Can I keep it on my channel? Can I have a million view? I cannot. <laughs> My videos are more safe in different channels because they target me. You see, they target me as a as a as a person. Uh, transhumanism. Transgenderism. Well, you know, like everybody, he can come with his own theory. Like Muhammad, he came with a theory that one day there's a group of people, they didn't they, they break the Sabbath, Allah made them monkeys. Eh, you know? I mean, stupid is amazing. And even sometimes uh, what it's called science is a stupid. I believe that it's your brain who transform who you are. As an example, if you convince a person that he is a girl, even if he is a guy, he have a big mustache, his muscle can carry, you know, a refrigerator, he would act like a girl, he would walk like a girl, he would talk like a girl, he would wear a skirt, you know. So it's what you convince yourself to be. If you convince a female that she is a male, she will act like a male. And then she will believe that she is a male. All is in the brain. Everything you do in your life, everything you do in your life is in the brain. As an example, if a man he sees a naked woman and she is beautiful, he gets excited. That's natural. But when he sees his daughter naked, he don't. Usually, unless you are pervert. Why? Because your brain right away blocked the idea of you thinking about her as a female. So you think about her as a daughter. It's in the brain. So that goes for everything. If you see a woman in the street and when you look, about her, you look at her as in a sexual way, you see only the sexual thing. If you look at her as a smart or good friend or whatever, then you see what you wanted to see. You know, a European person, he go to Saudi Arabia and he takes selfie and behind him there's nothing but dust and sand and he's so happy, excited. For me, I will never go there for a second. It is so hot. It is, it is dead. It's, this is dead land. It's so dangerous, it's so hot, there's nothing. You can't even find a tree to sit underneath. But this European, because he is desperate, he never saw sand like this before. And then if you take a Saudi person, you take him to Switzerland, he will go, wow, amazing, greenery, fountains, uh, waterfalls, because this person, they are both a human, one, he lives in the desert and he is desperate to see something green. And the other one is living always in the green, desperate to see something different. 
It's all in the brain. You know? It's like a person who never saw snow. He sees snow first time, he's like, he's like just born again, you know? Wow, look at this, how beautiful it is. And then you ask a person, uh, why you have depression? He says, we live in the snow area. We did not see the sun for six months. The other person is so happy, excited. The other person who lives in the snow, he is depressed. So one is suffering from depression because of the snow and the cloud, and the other one is suffering, uh, is enjoying his time because this is something new. And then when the new become old, we go back to the, to the depression. You know? When the new become old, you go and you're thinking backward. Like you buy a car, you are so excited. Now your car is old, you complain. My car is 20 years old. But when, the day you bought it, you were excited. So everything is you are used to is boring. Everything is unusual, is exciting. It's about how you think and who you are and how your brain function. Why is Islamic color green? Because as we say, this Islam is made in the desert. When you are in the desert, what you promise, you know? Desert people, they don't have banana, so we promised them banana. Have you ever heard of a God who promised banana in heaven? <laughs> Why? You know? Because those are people of the desert, you know, banana grow in a humid area. A, a warm, yes, but there's a lot of rain. And... Uh, uh, you know, totally different uh, uh, kind of, you know, line or, or land. Um, let us see here. If you go to Al Waqia, chapter 56, verse number 29, look at this heaven. Shade, you know, if you are a person who is, if Muhammad was born in Norway, he will not promise them shade. That is horrible to promise. But those are people of the desert. They are desperate for greenery, fruits, water. And as you see, this is the buffet. Do you see it? It is obviously a buffet fit specifically with people of the desert. Again, reminder. How many of you click at the link down in the info, in the info of the video? If you did not do, we will stop going live in this channel for some time. We will give it a break. We will be doing live in the Arabian Prophet account. In the Arabian Prophet account. Please take a note. Okay? Let me actually pause the link for you for the Arabian Prophet. Tomorrow we will be there. Tomorrow, we will be there in that channel. One God. And you have to believe that the Prophet Muhammad is the Messiah. Oh, sorry. Let us see where. Okay. See, the coming video is called What is Islam? The Arabian Prophet. Sorry, the audio. I apologize. I apologize by mistake. I wanted to click at the screen to uh, to show. I click at the audio. I apologize. Uh, so live debate. What is Islam? This is the title. This is the video. We will be there tomorrow. Arabian Prophet. And now we can click at share here. 
and we will post the link for you. And this is the link. So remember, this is a different channel. This is not this is not a new channel. This is an old channel I have. But we give a break between channels so we can always be safe and have backup. So don't tell me tomorrow where I'm going to be. So why you don't come here? I'm telling you, this channel here, we will put it for sleep for some time. Maybe a few weeks, maybe a few, maybe three months. We will see. All right. Uh, and always, in order to find where we are, the easiest way, you go to Patreon. As you see, the link in the screen, patreon.com slash Christian Prince. Shalom, my friend. Uh, Okay, do we have any question? Yeah, by mistake, we turn on the music. The second commandment and the divine mercy. If you have time to today. Well, Yusuf, if you can give me the question so people, they can uh, read your question in full, you know, so we can give an answer for it. All right, my friend. Give me the question again, so we remember it. And now I did not see your question. <clears throat> Did you post a question and did not see it? Until now, I did not see anything. Are the Christian and the Middle East translating the word God as Allah? Uh, this is, yes, this is true. In the Arabic Bible translation, they are using the word Allah. But, you, you know, this is why, because under, they are under the occupation of Muslims for more than 1,400 years. For me, I refuse to use it. It's wrong. It's absolutely false. And this is a false translation. So what is the question from the person about the Ten Commandment? How you explain Islam is not Abrahamic? Very simple. Uh, Islam stands for wrong God, as an example. What the name of the God of Islam? Allah. Can you find me where, where, where Abraham said Allah? Did Abraham teach you that there is a God, he will send the stones? Did Abraham ever mentioned that there's a Kaaba he built. So everything is not Abrahamic. And uh, Islam is a pagan religion because they pray in the direction of a stone. They kiss a stone and believe a stone can erase their sin. What you do predict will happen to Islam in 10 years? Nothing. Nothing. People are getting more stupid not more smart, even though we have internet. Did you see European women having some makeup in their face and suddenly they are worshiping the sun? Did you see those people and they were wearing like orange clothes, suddenly they became Buddhas and, you know? Did you see them dancing in Europe, going around a bunch of guys, they have ears and, you know, a human being. So nothing will change as long as a human being is getting stupid and more stupid. 
uh, stupid ideas will live. What is the name of Mar Mary in Islam, Maryam? The same name as the sister of uh, Aaron. Now, what happened to the guy who asked me about the second commandment? We ask him to pose the question again. He's gone. Okay. Is the divine mercy image is a sin? Because the second commandment tells us not to have an image. First of all, there's no divine image exists. Image, you know, image. If you mean an image as a, as a painting or a statue, uh, the Bible for sure is against that. This is why the Bible says don't make any images for what is up in heaven or down in earth. So there's no image of God except God himself. And the only image of God we knew is Jesus who come to us and down on earth. He humbled himself, the our Lord, and he took the form and the image of a man. Any other images is images of, uh, you know, it's not even a, a, a picture. It's just an art of artist. So if people do art for the sake of art, I'm not against that. If people do art for the sake of worshiping the art, that is absolutely false. Is Muhammad's first wife suspected? Muhammad, father, Catholic? Catholic? Yeah. Whoever made that lecture is a donkey. I saw a guy. He is, I think, from the Seven Adventist. He was standing in the stage. And he said that Khadija, she was a Catholic nun. And I died laughing when I heard that. But this is what happened when you have a bunch of idiots listening to an idiot. What do you expect? A donkey teaching donkeys. Uh, nobody thought, actually, Islam, number one enemy for, the, for Muhammadan is the Catholic. You will not see ISIS. They did not make a flag. They want to control Protestant church. They want to control the Vatican because those are the crusade, my friend. So whoever said that to you is a stupid donkey, go and read history. Actually, the, the fact is the majority of the Christian in the Middle East, they are not even Catholic. They are Orthodox. Specifically, uh, there is a Greek Orthodox, there is Syriac Orthodox, they are Orthodox, or Coptic Orthodox, not the Catholic. Catholic is something new in the Middle East. So whoever said that to you is really stupid and mentally ill. Even though the crusade, they were there, but the, the major number, the crusade, they were like the rulers, let us say, who came with the army, but the, the population, the people are Orthodox. Anyone he says to you that the, the uh, I heard somebody saying that uh, the one who created Islam is Catholic. That is the most stupid dummy ever speaking. He have a, he have a tongue. This is this is what happened when you give a donkey a tongue. Uh, is Anna Hannah the mother of Mary in Islam? The Islam never mentioned the name of Mother Mary. It says the wife. Uh, you mentioned Khadija, but was Muhammad bisexual? I heard Muslims have law against uh, bisexual. You know, you can make a law against anything, but doesn't mean you don't like it. Be leaders, be leaders, when they make a law, they make a law to, let us say, to be, to stay as leaders, you know? As, as an example, if we ask Trump, if we ask Trump, I mean, Trump, apparently he is a Christian. He holds the Bible, but is he really? I don't think so. I mean, this guy, by name. If you ask Trump, are you against uh, bars? Are you against uh, an escort business? You know, he will say, yes, I'm against escort business. But he was doing escort every day. He's rich. Pretty women, they go with him, escort business. So leaders, when they come in a position, in order to own the crowd, to control the crowd, they say what the crowd like to hear, but not necessarily mean they believe what the crowd want.
You know what I mean? Even when they killed Jesus, the Roman ruler, he said, well, I don't see any reason to kill this guy, but as you say, you know, he don't want to make a revolution against him. Even though he is the Roman ruler, the crowd shouting, kill him, kill him. Okay, kill him. Uh, what different education degrees you have? What you need to do, I have, I, I have education, I have my, I have degree in law about Islam, and the rest is not important for you. Was Quran occupied? Copied from Kenza Rabba is not copy word by word, you know. Uh, it is copy as an ideas. So, as an example, the story of Zulkarnain, it is coming from somebody. The story of Jesus coming from somebody. The story of uh, uh, Musa is coming from somebody. Every story is coming from somebody. And Muhammad, he is copying from everybody, but not necessarily word by word. That's why he have a lot of errors. If you copy word by word those errors will not be there, you know, like Mary, the sister of Aaron. Why? Because he heard the Jews saying that Aaron, he have a sister, his sister, his name is Marian, you know? So Mary is a sister of Aaron, what you can do about it? Uh, if you go in the Quran, you will see how many times Muhammad, he insists that this is a, an, an Arabian Quran. The reason he keeps saying Arabian, 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 because they were accusing him, there's two slaves. They are from Iraq, and obviously, you know, either they are Sabian or they are Christian. Or, you know, like there's nothing to confirm really. And they were teaching him, and they accuse him, as you see in chapter 16, verse number one or three. If you go and read the interpretation, you will see the story behind it. Uh, there's two guys, and Muhammad he used to go and meet them every day, and they tell him, they uh, they tell him stories. Then Muhammad, he made those stories into his own language. So when they accuse him, he says, okay, those guys, they, broke, they speak broken Arabic. They speak Arabic, yes, but they speak broken Arabic. But this is, a, this is a pure Quran and Arabic. So how I am taking them from them? Uh, in Quran 22, 17 says, Megans, Zoroastrian are the people of the book. No, it doesn't say they are people of the book. People of the book is only the Christian and the Jews. But uh, the, the Quran says that uh, uh, when, he an when he answered the Majus, let us go there, when he inserted the word Majus, he's talking about a religion. He is not confirming that they are people of the book. He's talking to them about as they are different religion. And you will notice here, Muhammad, he considered them as if they are believe his God. But he did not call them uh, the people of the book. Well, in Islam, when you say people of the book, you mean specifically Christian and Jews only. Sabian and uh, the Majus are not. Again, tomorrow we are going to go live where? Anyone remember? The link is down below. The link is down below. In the Arabian Prophet account. And always, if I lose a channel or I lose the privilege of going live, how you find me? You go to patreon.com slash Christian Prince. You do not need to make a donation. You do not need to do anything. Just go to the link. Click at the last video I posted, and you will find me. As easy as that. So please take a note. Because look what happened. We stopped coming in this account, and then people do not know how to find me. What happened? Don't we have this link in front of your eyes every video? Patreon.com. Don't you know? Okay, so for sure I will find Christian Prince there. Go there, take you to a minute. Click at the last video. 
Don't make a donation. Don't even do anything. And you will find me. No, it was very upsetting that people, nobody want to use his brain. And people, they were wondering, where is the Christian Prince? Why is not coming online? So why we have this link there in the screen? Go there. I did not disappear. I was in the other channel going live every day, every day. Even sometimes twice a day. In the morning and at night. Yeah. Subscribe to uh, Sheikh Omar channel. In case something, you know, you can go to his channel. He will tell you where to find me. Uh, do you think is a trend trending profession expose him to be uh, exposing the stories and he made a book you see for me i don't believe really in any of the stories uh, about muhammad he is a trading business i mean how the guy he is doing trade he does not know how to read how to write it's a necessity if you're a person doing trade you know it's a necessity to write and read uh, but I, I notice and this is my own uh, uh, like uh, observation that everything in Islam the stories is it's, it's, it's not really historical as an example we say to you always the one who killed Muhammad is a woman right she is a Jew correct is that correct She's a Jew. Okay. But do you know what her name? Anyone knows the name of the of the woman who killed the, of Muhammad? Her name is Zainab. Okay. How in the world a Jewish woman, her name is Zainab? And then you will look at the names of the Jewish, who the Muslim, they mention their, their, their names in the stories. Not a single one of them is Jewish, have a Jewish name. Do you understand? But as you know, and all of us, we knew for sure, that Jewish, wherever they go, especially those are conservative Jews, they use only Hebrew names. Doesn't matter what country they live. So how in the world the names, they became Jews, they became Arab, how, how, why she is, why her name is Zaid? A, 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 a guy, his name is Zaid. The other guy, his name is Ali. The other guy, his name is, what is, how in the world those, they are Jews? So you can tell there's a fabrication there about people. It's impossible. Why they have used, they will use names like this. It doesn't make sense. I could not find a Jewish name in the story. It's very rare. Uh, so historically, maybe Muhammad is not Muhammad. Maybe the Jews are not the Jews. But for me, as long as I'm fighting this cult, I don't go to those details because it doesn't help me much. I fight what they believe, not fictions or theories. You know what I mean? So I focus in the belief, not in he said, she said. Give me a second. Guys. I have to close the window so no genie get in. Uh, I have a question. Do Muslims go to Jannah? Uh, Jahannam in a physical or a spirit body? No, physical. 
Muslims, they have nothing to do. Islam is not a spiritual religion or cult. It's a, everything about Islam is physical. Their God is a physical, he has no spirit. The God Allah, he has no spirit. The heaven, as you see, banana, fruits, sex, women. So there's nothing really in Islam is a spiritual. All is about physical. This is why it says in the Quran, وَمَا مِنْكُمْ إِلَّا وَرِدُوهَا not a single one of you, but he is going to enter it. The Muslim translation, they said to you, approach it or go over it. That's a lie. Wariduha, it's mean you drink from it. Warid al-ma, mean he drank from the water. And even their interpretation says that. So not a single Muslim, but he is going uh, to enter hell. Not to go over hell, he will enter it. It's a must. It's a destiny. A prime example of fake hadith is the one with Al Mahdi, uh, uh, Caliph Al Mansur, son's name Al Mahdi, and he wanted him to inherit the throne. Well, you know, the story of Al Mahdi, I believe the whole story is a fiction. Uh, you know, the guy, he is born of a woman. They don't even know the name of the woman. Even the, some they say her name is Maryam, like Jesus' mother. And uh, uh, she gave birth to him from her thigh. Why? Because he's al-Mahdi. He's not like anyone but that. So it's, uh, it's, it's silly. Yeah. I heard that even Joe Biden, he is talking about it. Yeah, stupid people. Which book author comes after the Quran? Sahih al-Bukhari or... Uh, you see, uh, those books are collection of hadith. Uh, and they are not reading the author. As an example, if we ask the Muslims, who is the author of uh, Al-Bukhari? They will say to you, Al-Bukhari. But in case you do not know, they don't have any copy for Al-Bukhari. So what we see in the screen here, this is not really Al-Bukhari. This is somebody saying, Al-Bukhari said. You know what I mean? Al-Bukhari said. Those are supposed to be students of Al-Bukhari. Saying Al-Bukhari, he said. They don't have the book of Al-Bukhari. They don't have the book of a Muslim. And actually, even some, they say Al-Bukhari was a blind man. So how a blind man, he was making a book. Muslim, they believe in the blue eye. The eye keep them safe. Okay, can you tell us about those? Those are inheritance of other nations. Those blue eyes things is not only this. This is not really Islamic. This is coming from India, from Persia, and as as always, Muslim they you know they copy. Uh, if you remember the Quran, if you go to the last verse in the Quran, if we go to the end, as an example, uh, al falaq Chapter 113. All of this is about envy and witchcraft. So how you fight witchcraft? There are certain ways. Isn't it true that Muslim, they say that Muhammad, somebody took some hair from him? And again, the Jewish name, his name is Lubayd ibn al-Asam. I mean, he's a Jew and his name is Lubayd. Why? So uh, he took some hair from Muhammad and he made magic from Muhammad and he made 12 knots. Took Allah 12, 12 months. To, to a, one month to open every knot. That's funny, right? So all those stories is coming from other nations and you will find them everywhere, not only for the Muslims. So guys, did we take a note that tomorrow we will be in the Arabian Prophet account? The link is down there below. The link is down below in the info. And I'm sure there's somebody will click at this video. And he will say where? Even though the title says, click at the link below, still somebody will say where? All right. Is it true that the Shia believe rabbit or insect? <laughs> well, the Shia, they have a lot of stories. It's, it's very hard to, to, <laughs> to carry on with them. <laughs> uh, 
I like I always find the Shia books is the best entertainment if you are a kid. You know, but it's very uh, like sometimes it's not good for kids to read them. It's very sexual and very embarrassing. Uh, but Shia, they have uh, uh, they have their own so-called education, and the Sunni the same. As an example, uh, do you remember the, the Sheikh Asim? Sheikh Asim, when we spoke about uh, the hamster, he said it's a kind of insect. Is that correct? Do you remember? He said it's a kind of an insect. Yeah. Uh, Mark 4, to speak about destiny. <clears throat> well, my friend, the Bible is not a book believe in destiny and never teach uh, 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 about destiny. But I will go there and show you how, how we can try sometime to read in our way. All right, this is Mark. And we will go to the verses you are talking about. And we will see that this is really, it's not really about destiny, but people, they decide to see it the way they want. Um, Yeshua said to them, it has been given to you to know the secret of the kingdom of God. But the outsider, everything has been uh, 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 parable. So that is seen, shall we see and not see, etc. So where is the destiny? Here there's no destiny. There's not even a single word about destiny. Remember, Jesus, he have a 12 disciple, correct? The Bible says that the Lord he chose you, you are chosen before you choose before you choose him. It sounds like destiny. They choose he chose you before you choose him. I mean, come on. It sounds like destiny, isn't it? But the fact what the verse saying, that God, because of his knowledge, he knew who he's going to elect, and everyone is elected for a reason. And to explain that there is no destiny in Christianity, Jesus have a 12 disciple. One of them, his name is Yahuwah. Did he betray Jesus? Did he betray Jesus? Yes. But those are the chosen ones. You've he, been chosen before you choose me. So in Christianity, always there's a free will, even if you are chosen, even if you are prophet of God, even if you are elect, there is free will. So even the one who are chosen to be followers of Jesus, they can betray Jesus. Didn't Peter deny Jesus three times? Is that correct? He did, right? But Jesus, he knew about it already. He knew that, you know, you will deny me three times. So, it's not a destiny, as some, they try to make it. Christianity have nothing to do with destiny, because the second you say we believe in destiny, that means our existence have no purpose. And our God is a, is a stupid God. He's just playing games with us. This is why Jesus said, uh, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my Father, but the one who do his will. So you do the will, you get the heaven. That's mean, it's not a destiny. I hope I answered you. The second you say that we Christian believe in destiny, there's a, there's a form of destiny. Let us say part of our life is a destiny. As an example, we are born to die. And that is a destiny. We can't change it unless we accept Jesus. So even that one actually is a choice to get over it. Jesus said, whoever believe in me and, and die will live and die. Whoever believe in me and you will die. You will live again. So it's a destiny, it's a form of destiny that you are born. You didn't choose to born. Did you choose to be born? No. Did you choose to die? No. That is the only destiny we can speak of. But this is not even that is a destiny. It was a penalty. Penalty for our sin. The penalty of sin is death. 
So even that one is really, it sounds like a destiny, looked like a destiny, but that was a penalty of sin. It was not destiny. When God created Adam and Eve, he did not create them to die. When God, he created the angel, he did not create him to, make a, to be Satan. Explain uh, 19, 33. I don't understand what do you mean, die? What do you mean, die? You, you mean he will die? <clears throat> Verse number 33 in the Quran says, <laughs> So peace be upon me, the day I am born, the day I will die, uh, uh, or I die, and the day I will shall be uh, resurrected. <clears throat> uh, the Muslim, they will say to you, well, there is a day where Jesus will die, and this is not necessarily before the cross. But look what happened here. The important in this verse, it says, that everybody, they say, peace be upon him. Correct? Muslim, they say, Peace be upon him. Jesus is the only one in the Quran, it says, he said, peace on me. In the day I was born, in the day I die, in the day I resurrected. That is a mystery no Muslim can answer because all other prophets, they have to be given peace from God, except Jesus, he is given peace the peace is coming with him. He did not receive it from anyone. Peace on me the day I'm born. The day I die. The day you die, there's no peace. That, not, that is not really peace. It's, it's death. So how peace will be on you? Which means the Messiah, for he is the Lord, he is the Lord of peace. It doesn't matter what situation it is. The day of birth is the day where your mother, she screams from pain. And when you are born, you cry, not for Jesus. Even Muhammad, he said, when the shaitan, he touched every human being when he is born, except Jesus and his mother, he could not. So, peace on me in the day where everybody cry. The mother, she cry, the child cry. That is not the case of Jesus. The day I die, where you, you know, you are crying for your dying now, and people, they cry for your death. And the day I shall be resurrected, because that is the day what everybody fear, or this is the day of punishment. Today, they will open your book and see what you did. Not for Jesus. So for Jesus is peace wherever he go, for he is Lord, and nothing change about him. What did Muhammad mean by Mugharibun, letter A-L-M? Well, Mugharibun, you are mixing things now. Uh, uh, Mugharibun, uh, Muhammad is a very weird person. He come with words nobody heard, obviously. And he claimed that those who they are uh, homosexual is a mughribun, or somebody he is a child of uh, uh, illegal relationship, you know. And when he said that word, people they said to him, "What is a mughribun?" You know, what does exactly mean? The more word mughrib, the one who go in the to the west. That's the only meaning it can come with it. Uh, let me see, hold on. I will try to find the hadith. Yeah, you know, a mental person. When a person, he is, uh, uh, he is a, uh, uh, or his father have sex with your mother, sorry, yeah, your father have sex with your mother, and he did not say uh, the prayer before intercourse, shaitan, he will do your mother, and then you will be from al mughribun and then you, according to Muhammad, you will be a homosexual. This is Ibn Dawood, 
uh, he is saying here Aisha told Allah Messenger she asked her uh, have al mugharribun has been among you and Muhammad talking she asked and what is meant what do you mean what mugharribun they never heard this word before uh, he replied those are whom staring of the jinn Okay, how, how the jinn he share with you? Simply, when your father have sex with your mother, you have intercourse. Genie, he round himself around the private part of the male, and he do the mother, and that will make you mugharabun, which means you are the son of shaitan. But look how stupid Muhammad is. The father of Muhammad himself is not uh, a believer, and which mean, and his mother too, which means they did not say the prayer which Muhammad is asking for. Uh, 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 like you know to, to, to seek refuge by Allah uh, from shaitan when you have intercourse and that means Muhammad himself is Mugharrabun <laughs> yeah very funny guy you know Muhammad he's saying and people they have to obey I remember once there was a Muslim, he kept coming to a Christian chat room. He take the microphone. All of you, shaitan, he had sex with you. You know, you, know, you are the sons of shaitan. Shaitan, he shared with you. And, you know, like, and the, the admin once, he said to me, please take the microphone. I'm not an admin. I just, uh, I park my name there just to support them. So the admin sent me a message in private, says, can you please take the microphone? I don't know what to say to this guy. I know you, I know you always come with an answer. Nobody expect. I said, leave me alone, I'm working in my book. He said, no, no, please, please, please take the microphone. So I took the microphone. Uh, so I said to him, are you sure this is hadith is sahih? I said to him, okay, explain to us why. And then he says to us, I know what he's saying. He says, because shaitan, he round himself around, the, etc. And he do your mother, so all of you are son of shaitan. I said, okay, are you sure this hadith is sahih? He said, it's sahih. I took the microphone, you know, at that time, we are not using Skype, this is bad talk, like, you know, we cannot talk in the same time. So I took the microphone again, and I said, are you sure this is Sahih? He said, I swear by Sahih, what's wrong with you? I said, okay, swear like one more, one more, three times. Are you sure that this is Sahih? So he said, again, that it is Sahih. And then I said to him, as long you agree that this is Sahih Hadith, based on what you said, your prophet father, he was not a believer, and your, his mother wasn't a believer, which means they did not uh, have this prayer. And your prophet himself is a son of shaitan. The guy, he took the microphone, he started cursing me. He started saying to me, you are shaitan. You are shaitan. You have the brain of a shaitan. This is why you sound so smart, because you are shaitan. May Allah curse you. May Allah destroy you. May Allah kill you. May Allah. I ask you three times, is this hadith is sahih? You said yes. Well, based on this hadith, Muhammad himself is son of shaitan. If you go to chapter 18, verse number 50, you will see that the Quran confirmed that shaitan, the children of shaitan, uh, are you going to follow, uh, you know, the beliefs? And his uh, children. So now the Muslim, they have to find a solution. A Iblis have a children. How in the world do you have children? So they come with two solutions. The first solution, Shaitan is sleep with your mother. You know? Shaitan, he sleep with your mother. Uh, and the other one, Shaitan himself have a penis and have a vagina. If you remember, we showed you the reference before uh, uh, about Shaitan. He have a penis in the right thigh and the vagina in the left thigh. So he shake this and he he do nikah, and then he enter this into that, and then he have ten eggs, and from every egg seventy Shaitan and male and female Shaitan. So the first Shaitan, it was only male. Then after that he lay eggs, and he have male and female. The other solution for Muhammad's story. The Muslim adopting the story, as you see in the Quran, uh, 
that shaitan have a children. And the other verse in the Quran says, وَشَارِكُهُمْ فِي الْأَمْوَالِ وَالْأَوْلَادِ you will, you will partner with them in their money and their kids. Which is the Muslim explained that shaitan, he sleep with your mother or your wife, and he will have kids from her. Chapter 17, verse number 64. Do you see it? The Muslim here, they add things like by tempting them. That's false. Go read the interpretation. What why tempting them? Reminder again, don't forget that we will be tomorrow live on air in the other account, the Arabian Prophet, not in this one. The link is down below, and we will take a break from this account for some time. I might go like maybe once a week, something, or maybe once every two months, or two, sorry, a month, uh, just to keep you in touch. But this is where we will be. We will be in the Arabian Prophet account. Okay. <clears throat> Let us see. The link you see down, they are posting, Sheikh Umad is posting. This is for different account, not this account. That is the Arabian Prophet, so please subscribe there. For this is where we'll go live, and the account we will use for now. And always please, in order to find where I'm going live, you can go anytime to Patreon. You do not need to make donation. It's for free. You type the link you see in the screen. And then you will find my Patreon page. You click at the top video. This is Patreon. As you see, this link is exists there for a reason. You click at the top link of a video I posted there, and there you will find me. So those channels, they might disappear anytime because YouTube, they can take them down. As you know, YouTube is siding with Muslims, and they always try to take us down. But for us, it doesn't matter. Even if they delete a thousand channels, Christian Prince will never go, will never leave. I will open a channel after five minutes and we will be back. Any other question? Um, chapter 49, verse number six, there is wisdom. Well, you know, the, the Quran is full of wisdom, to be honest with you. As an example, the Quran says, Beat your wife. <laughs> Just to try that wisdom and you will see how you will end at the police station. <laughs> uh, yeah, I like it when people they say wisdom. Yeah. Uh, verse number it says, Oh who you believe, uh, if a rebellious evil person come to you with the news, verify it. At least you harm people uh, in ignorance. Well, okay, well, the Muslims, how they did, they, did they verify the information Muhammad, he gave them? A guy, he went to the seven sky, no witnesses. Everything he do, there's no witnesses. Angel came to him, there's no witnesses. A bunch of genie, they hear the Quran, there's no witnesses. A genie come to him in the room, there's no witnesses. Even his wife, she was with him in the room, she could not see anything. So when somebody says such a thing, well, if we practice it against the same person, he will fail. So this is not a wisdom, this is stupid, because this will expose him. Uh... If eating some of the Quran hadith also said, chapter not the Quran anymore then why the Muslim claim Quran is a complete book first of all the Quran is not a book and never was even though in some verses in the Quran says that Allah he sent down 
a book to Muhammad. But that will be a disaster if the Muslim believe that Allah is in the book, because that means Muhammad, all his story is a fraud. If you receive a book, you know, that means Muhammad, when he said they received this chapter here, that chapter there, it was a lie. The Quran confirmed that the only people of the book is the Christians. The only one is the Christians. Uh, and the Jews, for sure. But when the Quran says that Allah he sent the book to Muhammad, and then we find out that Muhammad never, never received a book, he received verses, maybe once, twice, three times, three verses at a time, and then the Muslim, they compiled the Qadr and they made them verses or chapters. Even the verses, by the way, you see those numbers, those names are not exist. Those are later, the Muslim, they were trying, looking at the Bible, they look, look, in the Bible, it says a chapter. Let us make a chapter. They have verse numbers. Let us make numbers. But Muhammad never received this. Muhammad never received chapter two, and he called it the cow. Never. As an example here, in chapter 3, verse number 3, it says that Allah, he sent down the book. If you ask a Muslim, did Allah send the book to Muhammad? They will say no. He sent verses. They receive verses, few verses, one verse every day. And through 20 years of his life, that made the Quran. But here it says, it is he who has sent down the book. In this verse, to, in, in, in order to be accurate, this verse has to be sent after the Quran is completed and became a book. Do we agree? Which means this verse must be written maybe a few hundred years after Muhammad. If this verse is written in the time of Muhammad, or let us say, Muhammad, he claimed he received it, that is a mistake. No, uh, send down, send down, not recite. It says in Arabic, Nazala. Nazala means he sent down, descend down, descend, you know, descend from high to underneath. <clears throat> Any question? You see, always when you read anything, uh, try to think carefully, not just to read words. And for sure, you know, because you are reading translation, Muslim, they can, can, you know, they can fool you with their translation. Like as an example here, when the Muslim, they say the Quran, but in Arabic, it doesn't say the Quran. But yes, it's meant the Quran, because speaking to Muhammad. All right? And then, here you notice something, it says, uh, uh, and he then he sent the Furqan. The Muslim they translate as uh, the guidance. But the Arabic doesn't say guidance. It says a furqan, which means it sounds like there's a book, it's called Al Furqan. Again, a reminder the verse we are reading, this is chapter 3, verse number 3. A reminder, tomorrow we will be in the Arabian Prophet. Please don't forget to subscribe. The link is down in the info, down in this video. We click there, join that channel, and we will be live there for some time. So now you have two channels just to take a, take a note. And maybe we will lose them even both. You never know. How you find me? You go to Patreon. Please take a note. You go to Patreon. Almost every video, actually every video. We have a link in the front of you on the screen. Patreon.com that where you can go to check where I'm going to go live next. You do not need to make a donation. I know you are cheap. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> uh.
Any other question? Can you explain chapter 55, verse number 17, uh, 23? You know, always try to avoid to do what the Muslims they do by saying, explain from here to here, you know? Uh, because if you read always, uh, from here to here, you might miss something bigger. So you better read what is before it. And if you read before it, then you may, maybe you can uh, uh, you can get the whole image. However, because the Quran is not really connected like the Bible, which means verses before have nothing to do with the verses after, like here. What does verse have to do with this verse? Nothing. It's repeating, repeating the same thing. And what is the point of this verse? And what is the point of this verse? And what is the point of this verse? Nothing. But we learn nothing. Okay? So, if you go to the verses you are trying to seek, starting from verse number 17, it says here, Rabbu al-Mashraqin wa Rabbu al In the most they explain, they say, well, there is two, as you see here in the in translation, actually, it says the summer east and the winter east. But the Quran never says the summer east and the winter east. That's why it is between two brackets. Obviously, the Quran maker, he thought there is two east and two west because the sun appears in different location. Otherwise, it's silly to say the Lord of the two east. How you can be a Lord of things does not even exist. If there is east, if there is west, and how do you become two? Uh, and then if you continue here, <clears throat> this is another mistake in the Quran. The Quran claimed that there is two uh, oceans or seas. One is salty and one is uh, fresh. And the Quran claimed that they never mix, they never meet. Uh, between them, there is Barzakh. Barzakh is a barrier of land. So the city Muhammad, God, Aka Muhammad, claiming that the land between the ocean and the rivers and the lake is preventing those from mixing so we can drink and he think that under the ground there's an ocean because people wherever they dig mostly they find water so they find water there's a river underneath there's a there's a sea underneath so muhammad he think that allah he made separation between the earth and the earth between the fresh water and the salty water and they will never ever transgress as you see None of them can transgress. None of them. The Muslim then they make a video says to you, do you see how salty water and fresh water in the ocean? The Quran is not talking about this even. The Quran is speaking about totally separation between fresh water and salty water. And you can open Ibn Kathir and read the translation or the interpretation. Barzakh is dry land. Barzakh is a dry land between two bodies of water. Any other question? Okay, so how many of us took a note that tomorrow we will be in the other account? How many? I hope you took a note. We will be in the Arabian Prophet and the link is down below. And always when you lose my channel, you can go to patreon.com slash Christian Prince and you can find where I'm going to be live next. What are some questions Muslims cannot answer? Everything. Anything. The most simple question, the hardest. Who is Allah? Nobody knows. You see, the Muslims, they have no experience with the so-called so Allah. Nobody met him. Nobody speak to him. Muhammad never spoke to him. Muhammad never met him. Muhammad received revelation by a delivery guy. What if this guy is a Satan, Shaitan? What is the proof that Muhammad, he have a God, his name is Allah? <clears throat> so, who is Allah? They don't know. They start saying to you, he's the creator, he's God. I'm not asking you what he do. Who is Allah? 
What Allah mean? They don't know. And when they say the creator, things will get more complicated. Because the Quran says Allah is the best of the creators. So if Allah is the only creator, then the Quran is wrong. Because you cannot be the best of the you cannot be the best of the creators and you are the, the only creator. And this exists in the Quran in chapter 23, verse 14, and chapter 37, 125. So any question is embarrassment to Islam. The second if you know, if you do not know, all questions are easy. Actually, remind me, uh, you remember the video we played? This guy, why the prophet, he married Aisha, a woman she asked the sheikh, I forgot his name, why the prophet, he married Aisha. He said to her, this is a very easy question. I can answer it in a second. What, 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 anyone remember the answer? He said, Allah knows best why the prophet married her. <laughs> How can they prove the word is a barrier, is a dry land from the dictionary? Or you can go to Ibn Kathir. Go to Ibn Kathir. <clears throat> Very easy. You can go to Ibn Kathir in any of those chapters. 2553 or 5520. And we do not need Ibn Kathir. I mean, this is a pure Arabic. But we use their books to get them busted. You know? Use their books. Actually, this chapter, by the way, is, is a horrible chapter, you know, because simply oh, every verse here you see is, is silly and is stupid. Let us go to verse number 20 first. Um, here we go. He placed a barrier of land between the two type of water. Do you see it? Very easy. So that, actually this is a mistake in the Quran because all of us we knew that the fresh water is coming from the ocean. It's a cycle. The river go down to the ocean, then the water vibrate by the heat of the sun become a cloud, the cloud go to the mountains, hit the cold area, and became rain again. But according to the Quran, they are separated totally. They never mixed. And they are two bodies of water. All right? Do you see it? And you can find the same interpretation for the other verse. What narration and the scholars do Shia uh, accept? Well, there is, uh, you know, Al Kafi, etc. Those are like the most famous ones. Al Kafi is the most famous, like it's like Al Bukhari. Can you give me the link? My friend, the, this website doesn't give a link. Uh, this website gave a tafsir, but I can give you tafsir, and then you have to go to the verse by yourself, okay? Because it doesn't make a link when you open a page. But you can go here, and then what you do, go to the same exact verses I gave you, the same chapter, the same verses, and you will find it, all right? Maybe you can find different website. Uh, we'll make a, make a link. You know, but this one doesn't make uh, like a, a, a like individual link. Let us say, if you go here, the same chapter twenty-five, verse number fifty-three. Twenty-five, fifty-three. Let us switch. Uh, 
and we go to 53. And then you will see here, we will do the same. And this is Ibn Kathir again. Here we go. It says, uh, this one is a, is a, a Bahar. Uh, there's two Bahar, two seas. One is uh, uh, salty and one is a fresh. And then here he explained that those two seas, they don't mix, they don't, uh, you know, they don't uh, uh, like uh, extend their location. And it says it clearly, Barzakhan, you see it? It says, mean partition, a partition which is a dry land. Even the Quran in different verses says, وَحِجْرًا مَحْجُورًا A barrier of a dry land. I mean, how clear we can make it? All right? And this is again, you go here, the chapter of al Fulqan, chapter 25, and then it shows uh, the verse we mentioned. Uh, and you will find it. Thank you, basic. And this is a great uh, uh, error, scientific error in the Quran, by the way, because this dummy Muhammad, he think that the water, the fresh water and salty water never mix. And he made them two seas. You see, it says it clearly in Arabic, Al-Bahrain. You see this word here? Al-Bahrain. Not a river. Muhammad, he claimed that those are two seas, which is absolutely false. Any other question? Again, final note. Do you guys, do we know where we will go tomorrow? Do we remember where we will be tomorrow? Tomorrow we will be live in the Arabian Prophet account. We will give this account a break. I might go here live from time to time, but we will be in the Arabian Prophet account. The link is down below. It's different page, different account. And in case, in case, if I lose my channel, which whatever it is, who care? You know, we are here to stay, and a channel is nothing, it's just an address. If we lose our channel, which is the one you see, we are here now in it, or Arabian Prophet, always you can go to patreon.com. You type this address. You click at the last video I posted, and you, bingo, you will find where I am going live. We don't care about the channel name, we care about, we are, listening, we are going to listen to who, right? So... This is always a virtual, it's not a real address. It's not a building. It's just silly internet website. So uh, in a Christian Prince account, Arabian Prophet account, who care? It is, you know, that we can make it and we can teach and nothing will stop us. And no YouTube, nobody can really take us down. All right? Keep the spirit up. Be strong. And you are victorious. If the Lord is with me, who could be against me? Where is the scary Sharia verse? Well, the Quran, all of it is scary because simply stupidity is scary. Nothing is scary to me as living with a stupid one. That is the biggest punishment a smart person he can suffer from. You want to punish a smart person? Let him live with a stupid one. He will go crazy, you know? So all the Quran is stupid. But the most scary one, let us say physically, is the violent one. If you feel you know, violence. But in generally speaking, all the Quran is scary because it's stupid. It makes a human being stupid. We have a God, he made you believe. If you go and do jihad, you kill people, you go to heaven, you get a lot of boys and, and women for boom boom. That is scary. And if you are a believer, nothing can scare you. Isn't it the Lord, he says, time will come and they will think by killing you, they are doing favor to God. So for them, they are doing favor to God. For you, you are with God. So nothing for us is scary. We are victorious, my friend. Victory is my God. He is the victory. This is why no, no tomb 
can hold him. No gr grief can keep him. No authority can destroy him. His name is holy. His life is holy. And now the holy God is up in heaven. And he's coming back and he is going to judge everybody. So if you have some, such a person you follow, where fear will come from? Who no death can take him. No Satan, no Satan can, can take him. Nothing can take him. He is the living God. Muslims, they follow the dead Muhammad. Even in their cult, Christ is alive. So we are people who follow the living God. If he is a human, well, he is 2,000 years old now. How amazing. And how long? And for how long? And he is the one who will come in the judgment day. So my friend, we are victorious. And this is why they keep flagging our channels, because they are afraid. They can't refute us. They can't answer us. We are victorious. Even when they shut down, you know, when they shut you down, you are making victory, my friend. You are writing victory. They could not handle the truth that Santa Claus is real and Muhammad is not. <laughs> That's the whole story. You know? It is their fear. Why they forbid us from teaching the gospel in their countries? Fear. They are terrified. If they are strong, if they have really real faith, they will not fear us. But because they are terrified, they knew Islam cannot stay if you give people freedom to, to, to accept or to leave. Right? Anyway, I will, I will make it one more time clear. Uh, please, we have uh, the link for my other account, which where we will go and do life for the coming few days or maybe two months. The Arabian Prophet is where I'm going to be. The link is in the info. The link is in the info. Click at the info and subscribe to that channel in case you are not. So we might switch between those two accounts. And in case, in case we lose this account or that account, always you can check me out to find where I'm going to go live next in the Arabian Prophet sorry, in the in Patreon page, which you see in the screen. Patreon is exists there for a reason. Patreon.com slash Christian Prince. So if in case suddenly YouTube took our channel down, doesn't matter what channel, here, there, doesn't matter. Go to Patreon and click at the last video and you do not need to make a donation. Patreon people think that this is a website for donation. You do not need to make a zero donation. In Patreon, you will receive an email immediately. When I send, when I post something, you will receive an email that says, Christian Prince, he posted this. You click at the link, you go to my video. As simple as that. You do not need to make a donation to be updated. And if you do not want to make even a name, just to click at the, name, the video, the last video I posted in Patreon, and you will be able to find out where my next video will be. Maybe, maybe we will lose both channels, who cares? Still, we are going to make a new channel and come back and do more videos. All right? Uh, so I hope uh, you guys, you get the message. And uh, we made the delivery for the one who need to be delivered. I want to say thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you again. And please uh, uh, help me to advise people who might ask questions down in the comment section later. Explain to them because some people they are not, uh, maybe their English is not so good. Uh, maybe they are, they have a hard time to comprehend. It's okay. We are not all the same. Some of us, you know, we are more educated. Some of us, of us are not. So try to help others. If they ask where we can find him, where he said, even though I repeat many times, still you'll find somebody asking. Maybe because he did not watch the whole video. Maybe because he's confused for some reason. So help others to find us and to join us so tomorrow morning i will be live on air in the arabian prophet and the topic will be what is islam all right so until we see you tomorrow guys may the lord bless you 
and this is your brother Christian Prince who is serving you humbly today and I hope tomorrow. Thank you and God bless you. Take care.